candidates are stepping up their campaigns in these final days before Election Day. And that's true for Ohio Senate candidates Tim Ryan and J.D. Vance, both on the campaign trail tonight in different parts of Ohio. The war in Ukraine has become one of the key issues in the race. Our Lena Lai joined us now from Parma. Lena, good evening. Good evening, guys. Yes, here in Ukrainian village, support for Ukraine in its war against Russia remains steadfast. And it is a community that traditionally votes Republican. But come this midterm election, the war in Ukraine could be changing that. Under the gleaming spires of St. Joseph at Ukrainian Cathedral, hearts are with loved ones thousands of miles away. As the war in Ukraine enters its ninth month, the Ohio Senate race is making for strange political bedfellows. I have consistently voted for Republican and conservative ways. For the first time, Mike Debronis, a second-generation Ukrainian-American, is voting for a Democrat for office. You better believe if Putin runs over Ukraine, he's going to attack. NATO countries. That's no doubt of that. And that is why the battle is better fought with Ukrainian soldiers and U.S. and Western aid in Ukraine versus NATO countries, where then NATO boots on the ground from the United States will have to come in. There are an estimated 45,000 Ohioans who claim Ukrainian ancestry. A third of them live in Parma, where many believe the Ukrainian-American vote has the potential to impact the Ohio Senate race currently in a statistical tie. The Ohio GOP get out the vote bus tour pulling into the Brexville Community Center with the Republican statewide candidates aboard. <laughs> Here, much talk about inflation and crime, but you won't hear talk about the war in Ukraine, an issue that has even divided the Republican Party. We're all talking about the importance to stand behind Ukraine. Republican Senator Rob Portman, head of the Senate Ukraine Caucus at Parma's Ukrainian Independence Festival in August, along with Republican Mike DeWine, as was Democrat Tim Ryan, who supports continued U.S. aid to Ukraine. But tonight, his Republican challenge Challenger J.D. Vance made it clear. Would you support cutting or reducing a U.S. aid to Ukraine? Uh, yeah, at this point I would, absolutely. I think we've gotten to the point now where, look, uh, we've effectively been floating the cost of the war almost entirely by ourselves. The big thing that I worry about is the Europeans have done effectively nothing and it's a war in their own backyard. It's a position that Ryan hopes will help his campaign. But it's not just Ukraine or Ukrainians. Um, it's it's the Polish community, it's the Lithuanian community, because if we didn't stop Putin and help the Ukrainians stop Putin, he'd be in Poland now. And Ryan's campaign tonight says his internal data shows anywhere from 100,000 to 200,000 Ohioans of Eastern European descent who consider the war on Ukraine a very singular issue that could influence their vote. Of course, Russ, Laura, nobody knows for sure, but it is certainly a population that we will be watching come Election Day. That's right. Very helpful reporting as Election Day, we know, is less than a week away. The countdown is on. Lena, thanks. Yes, thank you, Lena.